Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. This tutorial was originally going to be about showing you this stylized water. Then I started adding other assets which are tune related, and I thought I'd show them all off to give you a selection of tune assets or stylized assets which can help you get started with any of your games. And I'll provide all of these scripts and these little cool character controller on my Patreon so you can get access to all of it because these are all completely free either off GitHub or the Unity Asset Store. But I'll show you what I've got in my scene first. So, first of all, I'll show you I've got this stylized water. And you can see that these objects do actually look like they're floating on top of the water and there's a simple script to simulate that. We've got a simple skybox which is a sky dome from some of the Sinti assets which is completely free to make it look like that. We've got a small asset pack with trees and different prefabbed objects. And then we've got a simple tune shader which you can create different outlines and tune based style effects. And I do have a character from this pack which I've made and I've created a little character controller. You can see that the camera follows this character around, it does a little cute bob and it sort of rotates as you are pressing the buttons around. So we'll say the best thing that you can do overall, I've just searched tune on the Unity Asset Store and I've just filtered by free. And you can see that there's the simple tune shader, there's lots of different character packs, different shaders, environments, and you can filter if you want to filter by something like environments, you can get lots of free different tune styled packs. Now the one I was using was the tune environments world creator light pack with a various bunch of trees and different styles of environments with different themes which you can use them too. I did feature one from this week which is the poly style platformer which is a great start for a Fall Guys or an Assault Course style theme. There's some particle effects which I featured before and these cartoon FX are really awesome. I've got the simple sky, the URP simple tune shader which works really well and then this stylized water shader which you can get from GitHub. If you click on the code in the top corner and click download the zip, you'll get a brand new package which is called the master and it's got an assets folder with everything in there. What I'd recommend is just renaming the assets folder and then just dragging this straight into your Unity project. And as you can see here, we've got the tune water shader. You will see the main scene here and some of these objects will actually be pink because they're not rendered correctly with a lot of different assets that you import in for URP. If they come out pink, you can go to window rendering and then render pipeline converter. And if you go to upgrade the material, you can click initialize and convert. This stylized water does work perfectly fine in URP without upgrading it. But say this ring or this lifesaver ring, I've just changed the shader from what it was when it was pink to the universal render pipeline and just changed it to an unlit because this asset just uses plain colors and a lot of hoon based objects can use plain colors and with an unlit shader it doesn't get affected by lighting or shadows so it gives that more toon look and then you can see this water shader does have customization for the depth color the duration the form color and you can adjust different things like that if you want to change it and make it look more stylized and it will create edges of environments say when it's against this you can see the foam color and you can adjust cutoffs noise the amount of distortion that it has and these even come with a nice little script like i said here that make it so that it looks like it floats on the water if you want to create some little stylized objects determines the height of the bobbing up and down the period or the speed at which it does it then does an offset and finds the initial location and transforms the position up and down with a sine wave and then makes that just more naturally do this all the time so you never get the same point where it's moving up and down. Do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to this and over 225 different scripts, assets and projects and there's a massive list down in the description too. Do be sure to check out Unity's $35 sale because there's assets on sale there that have never been this low. Then with a lot of these other assets, if they're from the Unity Asset Store, you can open them in Unity and you'll open in the Package Manager. And usually they don't need converting if they work out the box in URP. But if they don't, say this one here, you can open it up and make sure that you again use the Pipeline Converter. But I've imported all of these in so you can use all of the different demos. And you can see with the simple tune, so you can see that the shader is the LPK Light Model Tune Light Base. And you can see you can affect shadow step for how much the shadow encroaches over the object not directly affected by the sun or anything you can select the blend to make it look more or less stylized you can adjust the specular step if it's got a point in time which is affected the smoothness of that the rim sort of effect of the edge and see how much that comes out and then the smoothness of that too then the color of that you can have an outline width if you want that to be affected and then the outline color the simple sky i just got from this package which when you open the simple sky demo 
I just copied out this sky and created it into a prefab. I just put them together and it comes with the clouds and a sky dome. And I added that. And then I opened up the tune environment, which was my starter. I just dragged the sky material in. I started with this base scene. I dragged in some little slimes from the sample tune shader. I expanded this selection and I just copied the water over with some of these objects. I added some of my own objects in there too. And then I'm with the slime leaf object and I created a little script to be able to change the scale on the movement of that little slime creature as you move around and it changes its direction based on the movement and the inputs that I do. So you can get that little squash and stretch to make it look like a sort of bobbing little character that bobs around the environment. Of course, he does still float around because there's no physics on this character, but it was more just to give an indication of how you can start putting things together from completely free assets. And do let me know down below if you've used any awesome Toon assets or any shaders, anything like that, because I love to see them. So do be sure to check out Unity's new $35 sale because you can get some massive, massive packs which are 80% reductions from their usual price, which they don't usually go that low. And do be sure to check out my Patreon because I'll put this on there. 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. This is all completely in URP. And if you do have any suggestions, I want to see some of these assets in more detail and I'll make another video on it.